Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. It's time now to review headlines on today's newspapers with Ombudsman of This Day in Arise Media Group and This Day Newspaper Limited's Group Executive Director, Kaede Komalafe. Good morning, KK. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, KK. Happy, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Happy New Year Mr. Komalafe. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on this bright New Year Day. Okay, so we go to this day uh, on Sunday. The Lydia says, resist attempt by politicians to disrupt uh, to disrupt 2023 elections, Buhari tells Nigerians a New Year message, which, of course, we will find in practically all the, the cover you know, yeah. of all the other uh, papers. Uh, the writer says, John Jonathan, Atiku, Tinubu, Obi, urge voters to exercise their franchise. And on top of that lead story, uh, it's a political one, PDP reveals when it will take action against G5 governors. Tinubu denies meeting Wiki, Wiki's camp in London. Emmanuel holds talks with Rivers Governor Autumn. And on top of that, the stream uh, below the masthead, MBA constitutes panel to handle Rahim Baraimo's murder cases. Rahim's case, you know, is the unfortunate one that happened on Christmas Day. You know, the woman that was gone down uh, by assistant police officer mm -hmm. and on top of the mustard buari other world leaders mourn as pope benedict dies at night of five uh, the story on the window says regulator vows to sanction petrol marketers breaching official prices insists sector not yet deregulated that that's a that's a, that's a slightly <laughs> a slightly strange one that's there, interesting but, but yeah but we will explain to us Shut down seven defaulting depots. And we can't leave this KK without, of course, looking at the cover picture. A worthy honor. That's the award winning writer and novelist, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, on the left, with the Ado State Governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, during the conferment of a chieftaincy title on Chimamanda in our hometown, Aba, in Anambra State, yesterday. The video went viral. Uh, yesterday, our uh, dancing, our uh, husband was there. You know, it was a colorful, beautiful thing. You know, and a brilliant uh, intellectual like that, being also uh, being culturally uh, celebrated. Celebrated, you know, and culturally attentive herself. I think that was a good one for Chimamanda. Always winning, Lawrence. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. So those are the stories, KK, on the cover of this day. Congratulations to Chimamanda. So. Yeah. To be in order to join you, Steve and uh, Aji, to say congratulations to Shimamanda. Shimamanda, yes. Now, by the way, the title is uh, Odelua. Odelua. In Egypt, yes. Okaloka government, meaning Odelua. writer of the world. Mm. Mm. And I think that it was the first woman in that community. That's right. So honored you know, to be given a Shetansi title. That's right. It's not a common thing to <laughs> give a woman a Shetansi yeah. title. You know. mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, because so our, dad, our dad had. Um, a similar title, you know, yes. uh, before. Yeah. Yeah. And she yeah, actually so she said, and, uh, it was remarkable, she said that yeah. she was, uh, so, uh, I mean, that she's so pleased with the honor, mm. you know, because to, for her it's a, a tribute to the memory of her parents. Yeah. You know, yes. you know, that, Absolutely. But I was so uh, committed to the community. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so congratulations to uh, Chimamanda. Well, I got the invitation, Steve. Happy. I'm just letting you know. Okay. <laughs> I just okay. couldn't attend. We, we, but we, oh, for the yes, for the, wow. for the um, yeah, event. She should, she should have attended. And we have, <laughs> I know, we have, we have a chat. Have, yeah. You see this thing you said about, yeah. you know, women are not given the honor. Yeah. So at, at, at a time, you know, we would call them Lolo. That's the wife of the chief. So yeah. I, I oh. quickly called her Lolo. She said, oh, really? no, yeah. it's chief. Yeah. So yes, yeah. she's oh. not chief. Oh. She's not chief. She's like not. Oh. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. So, what was chief in Igbo? What? What's chief in? It's chief. No, no, I mean, what's the Igbo word for chief? It's chief. Oh, I see. Yes. Steve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you. <laughs> well, well, no, so, she, so she has her title, which um, KK has just said, and that's the title you she address, will You address, you, you address her, her with, yes, absolutely. Great. Okay. So congratulations to uh, Chima Manda. Chima Manda. Yeah, so yeah. the front pages, as we, are, uh, as we expect, are dominated by uh, political stories. You know, it's, it's like... The, news, uh, the newspapers are telling us that uh, maybe what the only thing that will happen this this year is the election. <laughs> but I dare say that there are other things that will happen that uh, 
the election elections will just be one, some mm. of the events that will uh, happen. There are other events. Now the this story of uh, this day, which is the New Year message of President Muhammad Buhari, you, know, you also find it practically all the. Uh, the, I mean, the front pages of all yes. the other newspapers, you know, Banga, Tribune, uh, Punch, The Sun, The Guardian, you know, and others. The, it is important to underline the fact that it's actually a message of hope, which is quite appropriate. That at the beginning of the new year, as the leader of the country, the president is giving the message of uh, hope, you know, because he's having the projection that, based on what his administration has done, that, has, that if uh, succeeding administrations, you know, uh, build on it, that uh, by the turn of the century, Nigeria will actually be one of the uh, leading countries, you know, uh, in the world, you know. And that is itself is a thing, you know, that is, uh, I mean, that should be welcome, you know, that it is the place of the leader, you know, to give the people uh, hope. It's also important to know that in the message, the president says that um, he is accepting accolades and criticisms, mm. you know, of his record in equal measure, you know. Mm. So, and in this, in this regard, he's giving his own account, account of his own uh, mistake worship, you know. Mm -hmm. And that has been his tune, you know, for, I mean, the tune in the last few weeks that he's done his best in mm -hmm. Nigeria, you know. So while it is his right to say that he's done his best, it's also legitimate, you know, for his uh, opponent, for his critics, to say that that best is not, not good, good enough, enough, you know. But I think, he has the right, and he owes himself the duty, you know, to actually, you know, give account of what he has done. And if, he's, if he says he has done the best, and I, I think he should, uh, it is, it is uh, appropriate, it is, it is uh, uh, welcome, you know. And I think, he, like I, uh, if you notice, he started this just a month ago. I think yes. the, the, the first time he actually um, made it so uh, pointed like that was when he went to commission some projects in Oweri, you know, and uh, he went, of the script, after reading the speech, you know, he said, you know, pointed to some of the achievements of oh. the administration, you know, talk of the uh, Second Niger Bridge, talk of the rail works, you know, talk of, the, you know, uh, other infrastructural projects, you know, being undertaken, oh. you know, by his administration, you know, uh, social uh, investments, you know, agri programs, you know, and the rest. And he said that, that given the resources available, that his administration, I mean, that if he feels that he has done his best, but that, that uh, the, the achievements, you know, are not being projected by mm. those who should do it. That's right. You know, and I remember he said, the last word he said, because he spoke s Yeah. You know, and he, you know, and he said he didn't know why we are not doing so. So apparently because people have not been articulating that, that is why he has taken it upon himself yeah. to use uh, particular occasions, you know, to, uh, uh, you know, comment, you know, mm -hmm. on his uh, uh, record, you know. Hmm. Like I said, it is also the place of those who think differently, you know, to also pass their judgment, you know, believing that uh, ultimately it's going to be the verdict of history, you know, which yeah. may even go beyond yeah. even we contemporaries, you know, as, uh, as it were. So I think it's a continuation for that. And also, it's also noteworthy that this is his last message, yes. a New Year message that will be given as president, you know, uh, of Nigeria. You Absolutely. Know. Uh -huh. By this time next year, he also will be part of the audience, listening to whoever who becomes <laughs> his successor, a, a, a president. Yeah. So I think this is a very important location for uh, for him. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. but okay, okay, sir, just a quick one. I, I know that it's, it's totally within the right of the president to to say that he has done his best, and you have and like you have always said, people can engage and interrogate what they claim. But then when he said in Kogi, where he went a few days ago to to commission project. Uh, for the states, and you know, it's interesting that governors who are supposed to be subnationals, you know, themselves are always interested in having the president come commission projects that they use their money to do. But that's a different subject matter. Yeah. The president said there that his government has delivered on his promises, and I think that that would be a major plank upon which many uh, pundits will interrogate him for that. And I don't think that he will find it um, um, nice. Because is the, is, the, is the petroleum minister, for example, we can begin to assess what he promised Nigeria from that one sector alone. And I don't think that passing uh, the, 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 the PIB bill you know, into law to, to PIA uh, is sufficient. This is Nigeria of December last year, of January 1, 
We know what we're going through. We know what the president said about deregulation. We know what the president personally said uh, about subsidy that never existed. Here we are, seven and a half years after, and the president says he has delivered on his promises. I just thought that you keep that in. Yeah, you, you, are, you, are, you are right, but I think uh, the point being mistaken here is that, you know, I mean, he is being the saddle. You know, I mean, you don't, uh, uh, and meanwhile, his opponents are saying that he's done nothing, that nothing has happened. You know, at, at all. I mean, nothing, I mean, nothing good has happened. And then you saying that it is not so, that it's like you have a glass, you know, that has some potential of water, you know. Mm. And you may say, it, uh, somebody looking at you will say it is half full, you know, maybe the, the optimist, yes, the pessimist will say it is uh, half um, empty. So, 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 I mean, so what I'm, I mean, what, I, I mean, what I'm saying is that, I mean, you, he, he, he is saying that, of course, expect, if, if you read the, this speech, you know, and that, that's why I say it's, it's very remarkable, he said he's accepting both the, uh, uh, the accolades for what, what he, has, he, done. he has, has done, and also the criticism. So he, he, he actually, I mean, so what we are saying, he himself is criticism conscious of... Criticism for what he has done. No, 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 criticism for either what he has done or what he has not done, which, which brings the question of uh, the example of the... Uh, the occasion in Kogi State, which you brought in, that, yes. that you, you, it's like you were surprised to say, uh, for him to say that he has delivered on all the, all the, all, all the Because it will appear to that is, a false that claim. Is, that is his claim. Many that is his claim. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the important in, in, uh, in a liberal democracy, you know, it's also the, the, the right, uh, no, I mean, not even just the right, but the duty, mm -hmm. you know, of those who think otherwise, yeah. is to, as his critics have opponents. To interrogate. To, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to interrogate it. it. To interrogate but, but what I find, right. I mean, but what I find, Unacceptable yes. is for people to think that you know. I mean uh, that uh, if, uh, you know, you know uh, for people for people who project. I mean who project what the president has done mm -hmm. that they've done. I mean something wrong. It's, it's right. not. You know, it's, it, 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 no problem. Right. We'll come back yes, to no. that. But it is not correct to say that yeah. he has done. He has done nothing. Absolutely. I, yes, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we have to go on a quick break now, and when we return, the newspaper review uh, will continue. Don't go away. Please stay with us. Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. And we're still with KK on the newspaper review. I think we're just about rounding up on uh, these days. Is that correct, KK? Before yes. we go to yeah. uh, this day style. Uh, any okay. more paper or we go to this, this day style? Do you have any other stories? Any that more, you want sorry, to any more story? On, on this day? Because of, of time. Of time. Okay. Okay. We should just go here. So, Abby, okay. let's quickly look at the. All right. Let's, uh, about to look at this time. Right? Yes. Okay, on a much lighter note, <laughs> let's move on to this day's style, which in true fashion is looking at the looks of 2023, you know, fashion trends, mm. KK, Steve, this might not interest you much. <laughs> but of trends? course, the fashion trends for 2023 and the designers, um, that's what the cover is about. But of course, we also have in here, we have the images, the much awaited images of the celebration of life of late Chief Philomena Ngozi Egwenu of blessed memory, um, our dear OG's mother here, very lovely pictures from the event, and of course, yes, a, a, quite a spread uh, there. And uh, of course, a lot more, this is very themed fashion-wise, mm -hmm. pretty much. Mm. But OG, it's good to, to have this, to eventually have this photos come yeah, out. Yeah, brings back a lot of emotions. Of, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. No, and I'd like to thank all of you for coming uh, to honor my mother in the way you did. I mean, I can see everyone there from yeah. uh, Mr. Komala Fair, Manuel Efemi, Steve, your good self, Abby, and the entire Arise crew, and also our chairman, yeah. Prince Nduka Obaigbena, attended the ceremony. So, sure. you know, I am truly, truly honored that, you know, the Arise uh, and this day group honored me. So all thank we, you again. And thank she, you for having us there. Once more, perfectly. Yeah. So rest in peace. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we okay. move to um, The Guardian. Oh, yes. The Guardian. The Guardian. Yes. Absolutely. If you can pull up The Guardian there. Of course, the lead story is uh, Buhari's um, last um, message to message Nigerians. Right. Last, last, president. Last, last, last Christmas, last, last New Year message. New Year message. As president. As president, yeah. as president yes. to yeah. Nigerians. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'll quote him. I've tried my best to serve as president. Um, I'll read an excerpt. Reflecting on year 2022 allows us to, allows us as a government to examine our legacies of successes and challenges as we celebrate our wins and review obstacles 
We all must understand that governance is a continuum which still places a transitional responsibility on this administration to provide for the incoming government a nonpartisan and objective roadmap for 2023. I mean, I like that statement, a nonpartisan and objective roadmap for, for 2023. You know, Buhari has always advocated for that as well. And we have other stories on The Guardian. Pope Francis to bury Pope Benedict XVI on January 5th in the, at the Vatican. Uh, we discussed the Pope earlier um, on the headlines this morning, Mr. Kumulafe. And then parents of Chibok girls write Buhari to bring back daughters before tenure ends. Um, Steve, we discussed... Uh, the president's message in Kogi when he was, you know, <laughs> unveiling that hospital mm -hmm. um, where he talked about the fact that he has delivered on all of uh, his, yeah. you know, promises. A, a, a claim and, that, and a claim that many people will consider to be outlandish. To be outlandish, absolutely. And this is one of the <laughs> promises that he made. He actually did say so in So when did you conduct the census that, of those um, who said he was Atlantic? <laughs> <laughs> when did you conduct the census, uh, Steve? No, okay, well, 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 Steve, we Steve said a claim that many people consider to be Atlantic. Who we'll consider? Uh, oh, consider. Oh, who consider? We'll okay. consider? Oh, okay. I thought, I thought you said consider. You know, so that's debate is still going on. I'm, I'm interested to know when you conducted the census no, no, of this no, no, too. I, but, I believe but, that many people but, consider. But uh, since we have Twitter the president's message, yes. you know, yeah. and it's important that uh, OG made that point because I, uh, I forgot to underline that too in the speech. Yes. That is the consistency of the, go of, yes. the, of the president in ensuring that there will be free, yeah. credible, you know, right. uh, election you know, yeah. in a secure atmosphere. I think that is very uh, important. The, uh, maybe we we'll just take two quick stories yeah. uh, on the front page of the, uh, you know, first yeah, yeah. one uh, is that of the NDLA, you know. Uh, you know, this is New Year, yeah. and that from that uh, story, you know, it just shows that the, the momentum, you yeah. know, which has been generated in uh, NDA, um, NDLA, NDLA since uh, General Abu Marwa, you know, uh, took charge, you know, that momentum has been sustained, and I think uh, that institution needs to be encouraged, you know, yeah. to continue uh, the battle, you know, because that is one uh, area or problem, you know, in our national life, you know, that will require, you know, uh, 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 leadership, you know, uh, consistency of purpose in fighting the uh, drug uh, uh, battle. Yes. The other one is uh, Pope Francis, I think is also, uh, I mean, Pope uh, uh, Benedict. Benedict. You know, is on the, on the uh, front page of every paper, uh, yes. you know, as expected. Uh, just to uh, remark, you know, that uh, the, re the I mean, like everybody has said, the, perhaps the uh, most remarkable thing you know, about him that people will remember you know, long uh, after his death was that, yes. you know, in a very long time, I was, he took that decision you know, that he could no more you know, function you know, uh, to the optimal level and decided to uh, abdicate on his own level. You know, I think yeah. that, uh, like history will record that since uh, uh, Pope uh, Celestine, you know, did it in 20, uh, 1294, you know, and uh, uh, Pope uh, Gregory in uh, 1415. 1415. You know, in, in different circumstances, you yeah. know, no, no other pope has done it, you know. Yes. Uh, uh, pope uh, Celestine also left for personal reasons, you know. Yeah. But uh, Pope Gregory, you know, had yeah. to leave so that uh, unity could be brought into the Catholic Church after the split, you know, around the rival uh, uh, factions, you know. Okay. Then the other thing is that the is also yes well a lot of uh, uh, well deserved you know uh, 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 and the tributes have been paid to his memory you know that he is a ten or two also was marked with controversies you know apart from the activities of a pedophile uh, priest mm -hmm. also without being a scholar yeah in the being a scholar he was so outspoken you know I think on one occasion he was uh, joking with the television. Uh, uh, anchor that uh, he, he, he that uh, you know after after he had abdicated you know so he was now being interviewed and I said that oh that before his uh, mouth used to be very big but that now <laughs> you know it, it had gone uh, uh, silent you know he made some statements you know, which provoke uh, controversy you know? yeah and some of the statements he made you know about uh, about Muslim about Muslim for you know for I mean, yeah. for instance you know and some of the things that also alienated yes. you know the progressive you know, wing, you know, of the, of the right. church, you know. Uh, 
That's but right. say that yes, he did. He tried his best, you know, to confront the the crisis you know, of shared abuse, you know, in the Catholic Church. But that, uh, the interesting thing there is that you know that particular uh, the the issue, you know, is still is still there in yes. the Catholic Church, you know. Yeah. So that means that you know, to it, it, I believe you, and that the challenge, mm -hmm. you know, is for the church, you know, you know, uh, to confront. Uh, yes. level. But definitely, okay. yes, uh, right. lived a remarkable life. Yeah. Okay, 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 let's spend the last few minutes uh, to look at the cover of the punch. Uh, and I think two interesting things here. First, the lead story, uh, which says, Labor, federal government, states set to negotiate workers' pay, pay rise. Uh, workers say 30,000 minimum wage no longer sustainable. Uh, we promise to review allowances, not salary. Uh, that's Ngege, the Minister of Labor, saying that. And then prepare to review salaries, NLC, TUC, NULG, tell governors. I think the president is uh, favorably disposed to it, the, the question of increment, but Igige is trying to clarify it. The second thing that I would like you to look at uh, on the cover of the punch, given the position that you have conversed on how the media should engage with uh, public discourses, is the editorial of the punch. And it says 2022 on the cover, uh, running to the inside page. What a horrific year with, you know, an exclamation. And um, for the parts that appears on the cover, it hints it with Nigeria should resolve, Nigerians should resolve to make 2023 different. I, I think that um, that's a very powerful and instructive editorial from the punch, uh, because like we said the other time, uh, the media engaging with reality, but at the same time, this may not necessarily be new because we deal with these issues of, uh, you know, of um, uh, toughness, of challenges, of, you know, every time that we deal, you know, we move from one year to the other. What are your thoughts on this? I agree with you absolutely, you know, on the, on the uh, editorial, you know, mm. that, you know, this year uh, is going to be a different year because of the enormity of the challenges, you know, that mm. are... So I, I agree, you know, with the, with the tone of the editorial. And also on the front page, you know, of the, uh, I mean, the, the lead story of uh, Punch, mm. you know, I was saying earlier that if you look at all the front pages, you know, of the newspapers, the, the Vanguard, the Tribune, the Sun, the, uh, the Guardian, and uh, this day, you know, of course, all led with, the, you know, the political stories, you mm. know, especially the president's uh, New Year message. Now, it's only the punch that is leading with a story that is not the that is not the message, yes. And that's why I said that, whereas you would think that the only thing that is going to happen this year is election, <laughs> but that there are many other things. Absolutely. That One of those things is what yes, the punch is the talking punch about, is which is the question of the, which the yeah. negotiation, you know, that it is scandalous, you know, and to me, to me it is, uh, you know, unacceptable for a uh, for, uh, for minimum wage of... Uh, 30,000 naira. Some state governments you know, are still saying that it's not avoidable, you know. Every analyst, every pundit, you know, on the economy, you know, agrees on the fact that, you know, that uh, the uh, uh, inflation, you know, is at a very high, high rate, you know. So if the cost of every other thing, you know, within the system, the cost of cap uh, 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 capital, the cost of land, you know, could increase, how, how come that is only the cost of labor, you know, that is not... Uh, you know. mm -hmm. So definitely, that, so it should be expected that yes. there's going to be a collision, yeah. you know, between you know uh, labor and you know especially you know uh, uh, government, you know, because the the problem is more endemic in the public sector, you know, right. you know, as, as you are having it. So so that means that it's one of those things that will happen uh, this year. That is the question of uh, determining you know a wage, especially at the minimum wage level, mm -hmm. which. It's very important, you know, when, when you are talking of a poverty reduction, you know, poverty alleviation you know, or social protection, you yeah. know, because, you know, how do you, how do you say you are uh, tackling poverty for a person, you say, it's not, you uh, cannot even be paid 30,000 30, a month, mm. you know? So how do you address the exactly. poverty of that kind of a person? So Absolutely. to me, it's, it's, it's like paying this service, you know, to it. So one of, the, one of the instruments you use in tackling poverty mm. is actually uh, uh, paying decent minimum wage, you know, the wage that can, as they say, you know, in labor right. that can take the, uh, the worker uh, home. Yeah. All, right. All right, Mr. Komolafe, we want to thank you for joining us on Newspaper Review today, and have a happy new year. 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 Happy new year.